nation is celebrating the week in science under Vigyan Sarvatra Pujide, the national level program organized under the auspices of 18 ministries and different departments of government of India at different parts, 75 locations of different parts of the country. As part of this program, we, India Science, also joins in celebrating Vigyan Sarvatra Pujide. Albert Einstein has rightly pointed out, education is not learning of facts, but training of the minds to that. The progress of science and technology of the nation depends more on how science education is imparted other than the hardcore research. Let's explore how our younger generation and teachers looks at science. We are at the prestigious Ramjas College in the national capital, Delhi. So you, uh, you are heading one of the most prestigious uh, and oldest colleges in uh, Delhi University. Uh, having uh, a vast experience in uh, teaching and uh, administration. So what is uh, your feel about the science education uh, in our country? First of all, thank you very much uh, that you are representing India Science Channel. This is one of the prestigious channel of uh, sciences uh, in India basically. It's a great initiative of India government that we are doing. And I think uh, the future of science is very bright. Uh, it's a science college. Uh, we have, we are also imparting education for the uh, humanities also and the uh, commerce also. But the major thrust is on the science. And in future, I think science with the practical knowledge and that we are taking the care of in, uh, in the national education policy also is going to be a great hit in the future. As a college, uh, what are the initiatives you have taken to impart a scientific bend of students or scientific timber among the student community? Is there any uh, science-based initiatives or best science, science practices that you follow in your campus? Uh, our college is a good example uh, for I mean, live example we have uh, fielded here in our college. Uh, this is the best college where, uh, I mean, uh, we have the solar plant. This is the best example of energy saving and uh, use of the natural resources. Uh, students can see also they, there are number of uh, rooftop, uh, I mean, uh, panels are also there. We are using, we are reducing, recycle, reuse is the basic motto of this college. And waste segregation, waste management is the best part that students also witness. They also participate in that. Uh, from last four years, I can uh, assure you that in last four years, we have not even purchased manure. We are generating from the green waste. And we are using the waste and we are constructing number of things notice boards and other materials from the waste also. So this is the best example. Recycling uh, uh, groundwater harvesting, we have made some, uh, I mean, complementary, which is, I mean, uh, uh, direct students can also adopt some indigenous uh, rainwater harvesting, harvesting plants also. So on, on the simple basic uh, knowledge of the, how we can re, uh, re uh, harvest the uh, I mean, water. So these are the direct that student can see also, they can implement this in their uh, houses also and their, uh, I mean, wherever they are uh, residing. And there is a special, uh, we have given the special weightage to the chemical waste treatment also. So they are also watching how to save the water, how to purify the water. And these are the best practices that we are adopting in our college on the direct day to day basis also. And uh, students are witnessing that and they are encouraged by that also. As a teacher, uh, have you find any difficulty uh, in dealing with the science students or uh, do you find that our science uh, uh, syllabi has to be updated to uh, the needs of the next century? Definitely, uh, there were shortcomings, especially in science education, because science education requires, uh, there is a need of practical knowledge, field work, uh, interaction with the industry also. 
industry uh, interaction with the our science labs also they are one of the best labs in the world but students were deprived of that now with the implementation of this new education policy there is a uh, all the possibilities are there for the students and uh, it will be uh, student centric also along with the field the placement of field work practical work the weightage is more weightage is there on the field work practical work and the uh, interaction with the industry also they can uh, opt for the projects they can do it this in the with the help of industry also with the help of science labs also and uh, one of the uh, important thing that i am witnessing nowadays because it is now increasing in my college we have implemented this idea well in advance we have created a undergraduate research lab also for the students and i can see that uh, last last month there was a uh, undergraduate research paper the students with a, uh, they published the, one of the research paper in the good impact journal also so it's a encouraging remark for the students also that whatever there were wishes i mean in fact science without practical knowledge is useless so now they are using more on a more practical knowledge along with this the theory also theory can only be if it is not supple supplemented by the practicals then it is useless uh, now with the definitely with the field work and this thing this will be we have the bright future also for the science uh, so as you are aware the government of india is celebrating a science week vigyan sarvatra puja day from 22nd to 28 february so in this regard as a teacher what what message you can give it to the general public uh, my message to general public is that we are celebrating science week but we have a strong cultural heritage also with our tradition of past knowledge in the form of our vedas and uh, agastya sahita like number of scientific discoveries were there there are still some of the discoveries that is still they are unexplored so we have to for we have to forget about the science english sanskrit we have to have the knowledge of sanskrit also we have to have the knowledge of uh, hindi also and we have to correlate this with the science in any way if there is a scientific temperament is missing in any student then they will be at loss so in order to inculcate scientific temperament in the students they have to have the knowledge basic knowledge of the science now it is it is everywhere science is we are using science everywhere so all my best wishes to the india government for taking this initiative and to promote sciences in the best possible way so all my best wishes to the india government and best wishes to the science uh, channel also that is india science channel for uh, their efforts for their dedicated channel and i am very thankful see uh, you know that uh, government is celebrating vigyan sarvatra puja day uh, it's on week celebration in different parts of the country uh, but as a student because you are in this 21st century and uh, in your lifetime itself you will see lot of changes happening in the scientific world and not and even in our biosphere this planet earth may not be like this after 20 years so what's your vision in science or how indian science should progress after 25 years your dream of changing the scientific sector of india in the next 25 years or 100 years because without science we cannot progress without science there cannot be any development without science humanity cannot exist in this earth so science is essential so in your dream or in your vision how science not chemistry alone how science as such has to evolve to satisfy the needs of the next century so i feel that first of all if we want to evolve science it is important that we invest and we work on the scientists the future scientists so i my vision is that in the coming years uh, in the field of science research is something that is focused a lot so that even uh, beginning at the school level so that students from a young age they develop the 
uh, you know, the knack for research so that when they move forward, we have more scientists and more able researchers in our country who can you know, work in various fields in our country. And uh, for the next 25 years, probably that the coming scientists and researchers could work on issues related to environment because they are one of the re major reasons uh, why a government has to increase its spending on that particular area. Like, uh, all of our, like all of us are living here in Delhi, we can see that in the months of November and December, we are like the, Delhi, the city of Delhi is choked with smoke. With smoke. Uh, so maybe if, we, if the future scientists could work on the environment related problems, it would be great. I would like to uh, mention that India should adapt and learn things from other space uh, agencies like uh, SpaceX, uh, it, is using, uh, it is using reusable rockets uh, that that would help the environment and the economy as well as the Indian Space uh, Research Organization has a very low budget. So it will also help the economy and the environment. Plus there is one thing that I have read uh, recently that uh, scientists are uh, focusing on plasma engines that uh, is a very good option instead of uh, liquid fuels and uh, solid propellants. So this is also a very uh, good uh, option for uh, the space industry and there's one thing that uh, India will have its own space station in the next uh, I guess 10 to 15 years. So uh, this, was all, this will also help uh, India, Indian researchers and scientists as uh, then uh, we can do research in space and uh, zero gravity and all. That's also a one thing. And uh, there's also one issue that in high altitudes, the army of uh, Indian army is uh, suffering a lot uh, due to low temperatures that uh, diesel, uh, diesel in, used in the fuel uh, freezes. So what scientists can do is research uh, in uh, the field of fuel chemistry to find a different uh, additives uh, that can be added in diesel to reduce this uh, freezing point. So that's what I can, and uh, India should uh, adapt uh, more towards the IT, uh, involved IT and science together. Uh, it is not only about that we have progress or that we have to move forward. It is all about that we have current resources and how we can secure them properly. Like our soil, it is very important that the soil is protected. Our rivers and the other things are protected. It means that we have to progress once upon a time. When plastic came, the polymer वो था वो बहुत ही प्रोग्रेसिव था तो हम सबको लगा प्लास्टिक इज़ अ सॉल्यूशन टू एवरीथिंग नाउ प्लास्टिक इज़ अ प्रॉब्लम टू एवरीथिंग सो वी आल्सो शुड टेक केयर के हमारी जितने भी करंट रिसोर्सेज हैं जो बेसिक रिसोर्सेज हैं बिकॉज़ जो जो फ्यूचर जेनरेशन होगी उसको प्रॉपर प्रॉपर एम्यूनिटीज़ जो भी उसकी बेसिक नीड्स हैं वो सारी चीज़ें चाहिए प्रोग्रेस के चक्कर में हम ऑक्सीजन से कॉम्प्रोमाइज़ नहीं कर सकते बिकॉज दैट इज़ द इसेंशियल थिंग ऑफ द लाइफ and that's uh, just I wanted to say that progress should be made in such a manner that is beneficial to everything, not only to human beings, it is also to the environment, to the plants, to animals as well. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. I am Dr. Shef, Shef Eli Siddiqui. Uh, basically, India moves towards the uh, natural fuels. Okay, the problem with, uh, as uh, my students said, that uh, the research current work will be on the environment. Basically, uh, if uh, we reduce the petroleum and petroleum industry, then we can uh, get a new position in the world. And I thank to this government and Mr. Modi that he uh, regularly said that we can produce the hi hydrogen. And it is a very uh, enormous research in India that if we produce uh, hydrogen in the laboratory or in a college level, uh, basically, if we are in the research line, we are going towards the production of the hydrogen in large amount. Uh, we uh, are preparing the different type of the photocatalyst uh, that uh, are able to produce the hydrogen. Uh, when we get uh, this within uh, five uh, years or ten years, we can reduce the petroleum and the dependency of India towards the Gulf countries and other countries, even uh, USA, because USA produces a large amount of uh, oil and then uh, serve. So we can uh, depend itself uh, or we can produce uh, uh, new vehicles. Further, uh, if uh, we get a uh, 
वी गेट नेचुरल फ्यूल्स ठीक है सो देन वी कैन ऑल्सो इन्हेंस द लाइफ ऑफ बैटरीज बेसिकली अगर आप देखेंगे इवन सब्जेक्ट uh, में भी हम लोगों ने बच्चों को पढ़ाया था फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर में इन लोगों का एक कोर्स है इनऑर्गेनिक सॉलिड नोवल इनऑर्गेनिक सॉलिड तो उन्हें ये भी बताया था कि आज जो दुनिया है वो इस और आगे बढ़ेगी किस तरह से हम जो है वो ग्रीन एनर्जी का प्रोडक्शन करें और इंडिया की स्पेशलिटी ये है प्रजेंट uh, गवर्नमेंट की उसने पूरा फोकस जो है uh, इस ग्रीन इंडस्ट्री पर करा है कि कैसे हम जो है ग्रीन एनर्जी का प्रोडक्शन कर सकें तो उसके लिए कई सारी लिथियम बैटरीज जो पुरानी बनाई जा रही है वो इंडिया में भी प्रोड्यूस होना शुरू हो गई है उसके अलावा अगर अभी न्यू टेक्निक जो है वो अभी इंडिया में जो शुरू हुई है वो ये है कि अब जो है बाई साइकिल बाई साइकिल बैटरीज का भी वो प्रोडक्शन करना शुरू कर चुके हैं दैट बाई साइकिल बैटरीज मीन्स कि दे आर पम्पिंग टू ईच अदर वी हैव अ टू आयंस वन इज़ अ निगेटिव एंड पॉजिटिव दे पम्पिंग टू ईच अदर एंड प्रोड्यूस द लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ द ग्रीन एनर्जी विदाउट एनी वेस्ट प्रोडक्शन माइसेल डॉक्टर अमित शर्मा बिकॉज एंड फैकल्टी मेम्बर ओवर हियर द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री एंड बिकॉज माइन कंसर्न एंड यू आर आस्किंग रिगार्डिंग द फ्यूचर प्लान ऑफ द रिसर्च इन आर कंट्री आई एम कंप्लीटली एंड टू मच बॉर्डर्ड फॉर द एनवायरमेंट बिकॉज आई एम ए केमिस्ट एंड बींग ए केमिस्ट द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट द मैनी ऑफ द पर्सनस वर टॉकिंग रिगार्डिंग द एनवायरमेंट and uh, the issues related to the environment but uh, my concern is for the use of the green products just as the every person whenever you will move to the society and you will move to the person there will be the every person who has the concern regarding the environment and the dealing with the green products but the problem is that that the intentions is not coming out to the real actions because i my, if you are asking to me then i also give you the some of the suggestion and i am giving and there is the if you are looking for the real intention the people in our country there is the two things one things there is the present loss or gain and another one is the future loss or gain so everybody if you are moving to the market the the intention of the people or the buyer is that i am focusing on the present losses i am not focusing on the future gains there may be the any factor there may be my economic factor or there may be the factors related to the availability of the product so i am just saying that is by any of the end if my intentions is not coming out to my actions so we will not have the fruitful result for the environment so therefore it is my suggestion or it, it is my the future plan that is whatever we are telling whatever we are having the intentions irrespective of any of the region it must be reflected in our in our actions hello uh, i am professor sunil kumar in the department of physics ramdas college so i work in the area of the complex systems in econo physics and socio physics we apply the uh, uh, computational physics mathematical sciences and the concept of the non linear dynamics and the network theory in the society or in the real world system which are complex to understand and only one theory is not uh, sufficient to explain the uh, com complexity of the uh, system i have been i am working uh, under a research project uh, funded by the dst in the matrix uh, project so that is on the econo physics and socio physics so we are working in this area and i think that in a uh, future uh, this field will grow so as you know that the uh, Uh, 2021 nobel prize of physics has gone to the uh, complex system and i think that in the coming uh, 25 years uh, in our country uh, this area was not studied that much as uh, very few researchers were working in this area but as the nobel prize has gone to this field i think that in future uh, we 
should focus. We have the big data. We need the uh, numerical tools. We need the mathematical methods. We have to unify, unify, we unified all the uh, theory in, in from the uh, different uh, subjects like chemistry, physics, or some. We have to work interdisciplinary and in a multidisciplinary way so that we can help to the society. So I think that we have to uh, grow our computational uh, power uh, uh, to, under, to study the, this big data. My name is uh, Dr. Hardeep Kaur. I am a teacher in zoology department of Ramjas College. I have a research lab. I have few research students also. Face plenty many problems. Um, before hopping onto my problems, I would say I do envisage that um, research should be happening at a bigger level in uh, college. Last few years, there's been a downfall. Uh, the projects are not coming in the um, department, specifically in the colleges. You know, personally, I feel college teachers are not given projects. That's my apprehension. Last few years, we keep on putting projects. We don't get projects. If you talk about the research areas, unfortunately or fortunately, because TB and malaria and few things are the problems of India, and uh, research mostly is being centered around these things. Unfortunate for us, because people who are working on different other areas, they don't get projects, they don't get any recognition. That becomes a difficult part. I personally feel that only tuberculosis and few things are not the only problems in India. Yes, they might be the major problems, but they are not the only problems. So other problems, other areas, which may be like, let's say I work on fungal biology. We don't get projects on fungal biology because fungi infections is considered to be something, uh, a nosocomial infection. You go to a hospital, you get an infection. They don't realize that there are certain species that have actually been acclaimed as a superbug right now in word, like Candida auris, et cetera. They are superbug. You get it, you die. So situation is that India is not recognizing that, that there are other areas also which needs attention. I am Ojit and I teach zoology in Ramjas College, uh, University of Delhi. Uh, to me as a science uh, teacher, uh, the main objective of science in India should be to give clothes to every person, to give good food to everyone, security in terms of the livelihood. This is my science. It will be too much a claim to produce Nobel laureates every now and then. The real science of the country should be to take care about the needs that the country is really toiling up towards. For example, you need to have food, you need to have clothes, you need to have shelters. So one personal ethical dilemma being a science teacher is, am I giving enough of the resources to the students in terms of ideation, in terms of exploration, to get this particular opportunity sooner than later? That's my science. Okay. So in the next 25 years, I want our science should be such because whatever projects and whatever things that we are seeing today is making India an investor friendly. We want all the foreign institutions to open their shops in India. I'm so sorry to use this word. But why should not our policy makers make an environment such that our science is exporting to the others? Right? You have a rich biodiversity in the world. You have some of the magnificent mines in the country. So the policy makers should come in the center stage and make a level playing field so that our science is exportable, our science is known by the other universities of the world. Instead of a great university professors from Oxford coming and teaching here, why cannot you make an environment that our science is acceptable there as something that is par excellent as others? So I know you all of you are busy with your studies, but still, uh, how many of you regularly read any popular science magazines or popular science books? Have anyone read any of the popular science magazines published from India or abroad? Can you name few popular science magazines? Uh, Vigyan Pragati. Uh, so uh, this is the magazine uh, in the initially during the 10th and 12th uh, dream dream 40, 46, 47 2047 dream 47 yes yes i read that's uh, excellent so what's your uh, as a teaching community what's your opinion about uh, the new educational policy national education policy uh, how it it would help 
the science education, uh, particularly in, uh, in, in India, in, in, your, in your domain. Uh, so can you give some inputs into that? Aap kuch baats kar sakte naya education policy, kaise aapke subject mein science education ko enhance karne mein help karega. मैं प्रोफेसर सुरेश कुमार वनस्पति विज्ञान विभाग रामजस महाविद्यालय दिल्ली विश्वविद्यालय से नई शिक्षा नीति 2020 कुछ तथ्य पे कई हद तक मेरे हिसाब से सही हो सकती है कारण एक कारण क्योंकि पहला जो पॉइंट नई एजुकेशन पॉलिसी में दिया गया है उसमें भाषा पे ध्यान खास तौर पे दिया गया है जो बच्चा देश के विभिन्न भागों से ग्रामीण क्षेत्रों से आता है उनके ये लाभकारी हो सकता है क्योंकि हम हमेशा अंग्रेजी को बढ़ावा देते हैं और नई एजुकेशन पॉलिसी जो 2020 है उसमें आप लोकल लैंग्वेज और अपनी मातृभाषा पे जोर दिया गया है तो इस कारण से नई एजुकेशन पॉलिस पॉलिसी जो ग्रामीण क्षेत्र से आने वाला जो छात्र है या छात्राएं हैं उनके लिए लाभकारी हो सकती है दूसरा आपका जो प्रश्न है जो आप कह रहे हैं कि आपके विषय विशेष में क्या इसका लाभ हो सकता है उसकी बात मैं करना चाहूँगा कि जो चौथा वर्ष जो स्नातक चार वर्ष का होना जा रहा है उस चौथे वर्ष में कुछ फ़ायदा होने की उम्मीद है क्योंकि अभी तक के हमारी जो प्रक्रिया है जो टेन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री का प्रोविज़न चला आ रहा है नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी के आधार पे चार जमा तीन जमा चार का प्रोविज़न आप ला रहे हैं उसमें जो चौथा वर्ष होगा उस चौथे वर्ष में जो शोध कार्य का प्रोविज़न दिया गया है वो अप्रिसिएबल है क्योंकि ग्रेजुएसन के लेवल पर शोध कार्य अभी तक नहीं है और बॉटनी में खास तौर से क्योंकि ट्रेडिशन का जमाना है और मैं ट्रेडिशनल बॉटनी पढ़ाता हूँ एथनो बॉटनी पढ़ाता हूँ और मैं एक बार मिनिस्ट्री में भी मैं इस बात को कह चुका हूँ पिछले ही मंथ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन में न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी को वनस्पति विज्ञान में क्या उसका महत्व हो सकता है और क्या फ़ायदा हो सकता है मैंने उस पर अपना वक्तव्य दिया है जो यूट्यूब पर अवेलेबल है उसमें भी मैंने यही बात कही थी कि जो माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी भी जो बात कह रहे हैं उस बात को रियल में लाइए ना आप और जो क्योंकि कागजों में बहुत सारी चीज़ें हैं और आपके पास मौजूद हैं पुरानी पॉलिसी भी आई है उनमें भी बहुत सारी चीज़ें लेकिन इंप्लीमेंट नहीं होती हैं आप जिस बात को कह रहे हैं अगर आप उसी बात को सही तरीके से रखेंगे रिसर्च का जो प्रोविज़न आप दे रहे हैं चौथे वर्ष में वो अगर होगा तो वो सच में स्टूडेंट के लिए लाभकारी हो सकता है और विषय विशेष मैं इसलिए लाना चाह रहा हूँ ट्रेडिशन की बात आप कर रहे हैं तो ट्रेडिशन की लाइए और ट्रेडिशन के बॉटनी की शुरुआत ही बॉटनी ही एक ऐसा विषय है जिससे आप शुरू करके जड़ से शुरू करके और उसका प्रोडक्ट तक ला सकते हैं मैं खास तौर से ड्रग की बात कर रहा हूँ तो ड्रग ओरिजिन जो प्लांट ओरिजिन ड्रग है वो लाया जा सकता है और स्नातक का स्टूडेंट उसमें इन्वॉल्व किया जा सकता है लेकिन गवर्नमेंट को फैसिलिटीज़ प्रोवाइड करनी होगी अन्यथा ये बिल्कुल बेकार रहेगी साइंस प्रोपोगेट्स थ्रू आवर चिल्ड्रन एंड टीचर्स एंड साइंटिफिक टेम्बर दैट वी ऑल फॉर सी कैन बी बिल्ड ओनली इफ वी हैव ए साउंड साइंटिफिक बेंड ऑफ माइंड लिसनिंग टू ऑल दिस यंग children and teachers i am sure india has got a great potential for the next century